of it because I felt the weight that, that she was putting on me, she was putting pressure on me. And, and, and she, and really true that you, see, people put pressure on you and, and, and make you feel bad. And I, I had to cut it off and I felt good but after I cut it off, but at first, it, it, she was putting the guilt trip on me. That I got and I got and did something and I ain't did nothing and just just being nice and, you know and and sometimes people put guilt trip on you but anyway once I once couple 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 months after I started feeling better about myself because I didn't want to hurt nobody feeling see people get you on there they, they, they try to play the guilt trip like you gonna hurt me you you know you hurt my feelings I said no I he I wasn't got you didn't get that serious but I'm trying to tell you sometimes you have to be honest with people uh -huh. so you think about it people don't want to be honest no more. They want, they want to go ahead on with the flow, but meanwhile you're doing something you don't feel right about. Amen. I didn't feel right about the relationship, so I, I had to sever it. Amen. I'm saying this sometimes anxiety. You can be put under pressure by somebody. And I said, I always said this. I said, if the person is, is, is put under pressure and, and, and you feel like you being under pressure, you'll make the wrong decision. Amen. Thank the Lord. That's what the Bible said. I, and I wasn't in no church and nothing like that. But he said, be angel for nothing by everything, prayer and supplication, and make your request made known unto God. He said, the peace, here the key. And the peace of God surpasses all understanding will keep your heart and mind. You see, it will keep you. See, the understanding, the peace of God will surpass all understanding, will guard your heart and mind through Christ Jesus. Head kick him. He gonna give you peace about it. Amen. If you don't feel no peace about what you're doing. Amen. See, if you don't feel peace about something you venture into, he said the understanding will guard your heart and mind through Christ Jesus. If I don't feel peace about this thing, I ain't doing it. Amen. Thank the Lord. I ain't gonna do it. Amen. And and, and, and anxiety is to get you to feel pressure. Do something that you don't feel right about it. The devil is saying, let's do it. Amen? That's how a lot of people get into debt. They buy homes, cars, and don't have enough money to even pay for it. The repo, repo man come up overnight and get the stuff. They wake up in the morning, amen, and the stuff gone. My, my neighbor told us about it, about his stuff. He said, he woke up in the morning and all five of his cars, I think he said five of them was gone. He owes some on all five of them. Well, he never paid for one. And so the people came and wait wait morning. Well, they so back, we were just talking about, I was on my way, we was on the way to uh, a manpower down there in St. Petersburg. We were riding along in his, in, in, in his uh, Lexus, and uh, I just had told him, and, and we were talking about it real good, and he said, uh, he said and, and, and he had, we were about four of us in the car, I said, thank God I ain't got no Alexa payment. Amen. I was thanking God, you know. I said, but I, because I know they got some good payment. The car runs good and everything. And uh, the other brother said, me too. I got down there, and this is the truth. Now, I'm going to tell you this how people live. I'm, I'm, I'm going to share something that's going to help you. We got down there. After we said that on our way up, the brother got lost. Did you hear what I'm saying? I'm by the car waiting on the car. The car was over with. He got lost. In other words, he didn't want to bring me back home. It's a shame when you go in the car with people to do that. I said, Lord, let me get back home. Think about calling Joel to come way to St. Petersburg and pick me up. He had caught the attitude. He had there 12 o'clock in, in the morning, in the morning, and I'm, and I'm out there by his car, and on the way, I seen him. He peeped out, and he seen me, and he ducked back. He, he seen me, but he had purpose in his mind. He felt like, let him get his way, get his own self, get his own way back home. He's not going back with me. Amen. I'm going to I said, Lord, but now I'm not going in nobody's vehicle. Let this be a lesson to you now. I don't care how nice they act towards you. If I can't drive myself to the conference, I'm not going to the conference. Because I've seen somehow people would change. If you don't talk in their car, you better suck up. But if you say something in a way online to what they think, and they get mad with you, and they want to leave you at the conference. Amen? And he's supposed to be saved, supposed to be a minister. Amen? But in other words, he said, oh, you're not riding in my car. But happened, I said, I gave him gas money. He's going to freeload. 
But he felt like since we since we since we were saying about we glad we ain't got the payment, I'm gonna leave y'all at the conference. Amen. So let it be a lesson to you. If, 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 just get on, just go on with him and come on back home. But sometimes people get 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 mad with you if you state something that you don't that you disagree with, and they don't want they want to show you in their actions. So I'm gonna leave you right here. So when he came back to the car, he looking he looking couldn't even look at me. I mean, they stayed in that. We had bit the dome. The the dome. We was at that uh, proper kind of field. That's where the, that's where the uh, comms was. Everybody gone. If, if the parking lot is empty, his car is the only one there. Everybody had gone. This man I talked to all the time. Don't be fooled about people. They are smiling your face, and I make your friend. They'll leave you too. Amen. He asked me. That's why right. he asked me to go to the conference. Thank you, wife. He asked me. I didn't bother him. I didn't really want to go with nobody because if I can't drive, I usually don't go. Because I know how people that do. They get you in their car and they act stupid on you too. Let this be a lesson to you. Don't go with everybody. I don't care how friendly they act. People will change their mind. They change their mind. They said to Jesus, Hosanna. After a while, they said, crucify be careful who car you get in. Let this be a lesson to you. I want to say that before I go on. Amen. See, he had he had his vehicle, and everybody stand watching. All the brothers come and say, "Where you? Where the people going?" Everybody had left. Parking lot empty, and he in there peeping at me, hoping I go ahead on and, and call somebody and they pick him up. I leave walking. I don't want to do it in no big city, St. Petersburg. No, you don't do that. But the thing about it, I knew he gonna have to come back because I'm standing by his car. But I just what I said, I said, I, now I know. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I got to go on, y'all. Too much information. Amen. I'm trying to get out of here, y'all. Amen. I'm, now, I'm not going to do it the way I got it planned out. Amen. Philippians 4 and 6 and 7, everyday Bible said it like this. Do not worry about anything. Do not worry about anything. But pray and ask God for everything you need. Always, always giving thanks. Always. Always give me things. See, you can't be worried about things. Man, this is the this is the thing. Mm-hmm. When we get to the point that we're worried about things, we're under pressure, man. And and, and I always said, when I wake up in the morning, I don't want to be worried about no nothing. Amen. Mm-hmm. Help me, Lord, to, to, with my anxiety and my depression. Lord, I don't want to be worried. I want to be. I want to have a free spirit, a free mind. I don't want. If, I, if something's going to make me worried, I don't need it. Mm-hmm. Amen. Thank you. If something's gonna put pressure on me, I don't need it. If I gotta if I gotta go out there and buy something that I know I don't have the money for it and can't pay for it, the monthly payment, and that all that is making me worry every time no payments come around, I don't need it. I don't need that bad. I don't need I don't need the worration, I don't need the pain, I don't need the stress, I don't need none of that. The pressure that goes along with it. Let me tell you something. Life is too short. I've seen some people that go and get the bill and knowing they can't make the payment and got but two people. Amen? Thank the Lord. I thank God for Joel and, Shane, Joel and my wife. We borrowed some money years ago, just us three. We signed on a loan and we just about through paying for it. Me, him, all three. We went up, I said, Joel, we got to do this him. That's how we bought all this property. People understand understand what we did. But it was our money. We, we had to buy our money because the Holy Spirit told us. Didn't nobody give us no money. That's why you hear me talking bold like I can say it. We didn't have nothing. We didn't have enough money to do nothing with. People, all the, all the energy that you can muster up ain't enough to pay those bills. But I think um, we bought, when we borrowed that money, we went up there. I, my trade is so good that it went right on through. But I, I'm not a fool. I don't be pressured by people. But this is the truth. When people pressure you, they leave you, and then you with a note. But I knew that well, our money could take care of that note. I know we had enough coming in that our tithes would take care of that note. So we, we weren't under no pressure. And, and, and the, thing, the good thing about it, when we all this is paid for, we borrowed money to pay for all this. But if the Holy Ghost hadn't spoke to me, and those so-called people came and joined our church and just want to be around because they heard I'm going to build a building and thinking I'm going to be a fool to do it, and then and now I'm gone, and, and I go and borrow a million dollars, which I would never do that. But I borrowed enough to take care of all of this. Thank you, Lord. And we knew once we get it, and the Holy Ghost told me, and this is what the main thing I want to say tonight, because... It was the timing. 
that all of it now the economy is so crazy 